damn good guy. He's an older dude. And he was just singing songs on the tram ride back. And everyone was dying. I, like, I like the one tram driver that extends his oh, no. and Ethan getting strange phone calls. I'm feeling this guy. Would that be for a guest service? This guy right here? <laughs> well, fresh baked, uh, we've arrived for our Saturday morning visit. It's Saturday morning. Good morning. Welcome to Fresh Bake. The best of Disney bake fresh daily and stuff. We're, uh, Where are we starting our day? What's that? Where are we starting our day? This morning, uh, Sarah, we're going to be beginning on Small World and or Matterhorn. Okay. Because Matterhorn's going to be closing soon. <gasps> Why? Uh, they're going to fix the Yeti. Wrong ride, David. Yeah, oh, oh. Let's play. They're not gonna fix. Is that, are they finally putting a uh, <laughs> snow snowball? Or is that gonna, what, is that gonna what, screw up? What's the creature what, from um, Frozen? Marshmallow. Oh gosh, Marshmallow. Are they finally putting, it seems but, like it might be. Oh no. We just got off the parking, uh, like the parking structure. This is, what do you have, that, that nervous feeling Sorry, as you pass and then there's the annoying. ticket booth. <laughs> you're about ready to round the corner <laughs> to see what it's like to get in. This is that nervous feeling we're experiencing right now. And that nervous feeling is being paid off. That, that is a big line. I just wrote a whole article about why you shouldn't monorail. Well, <laughs> on the I website. Monorail. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but there are certain cases where you're wrong about that. Yeah, I gotta say, man, I don't All think right, you're 100% so correct. Go to, go to FreshBakedDisney.com and read my article on how to enter Disneyland. And then I will simply go like this. <laughs> Or just or gestures broadly at surround. That's where Sarah would be right now is on that thing. Yeah, yeah. those people are just getting past all of this. That's so <laughs> convenient. That's so yeah, convenient. but what about the those magic? We're gonna be in Tomorrowland in like two minutes. I feel like entering in Tomorrowland is like starting the movie at 30 minutes. Yeah, well I'm okay with that if I've seen it before. You skip all the uh what's the word? What the credits and the and the trailers? No, <laughs> I want like to see that. the I want to see the trailers. I like the trailers. Exposition, that's the word. Oh, the, and the establishing shots. Walt wanted you to experience the establishing shot. Yes, I know. And most Hard of the time, I love it. There are times though, if I'm you've like been here before, yeah. where you yeah. know what, every you just want to get in. Okay, but I, you know what? It's a new day for me. Every single day when I come here. Just called me. Okay, this is us right here. By the way, little little um. Of course I. A hot tip for you. When it's like so this, no, try to get, I don't know what, they, they number them, but I can't see what the numbers are. But try to find the ones that are by the trees. Because the trees have a tendency to bisect the, uh, the, the lines. I think they're getting in this one. Which means that the line will go a little faster than it's actually to. Well, right, or even in front of a planner like this, where you don't know that there's an, actually another line right here. I'm like... <laughs> Just what Sarah did, she nailed it. Looks like we're getting the best of both worlds here because you'll notice, see how this tree bisects this gate right here? Uh, so there's only one line. There's, you can't put two lines here, even though there's two gates. There's two, there's two uh, what do you call it? Turnstiles. There's only one line for two turnstiles. That means this line is going to split. You save half the line, right? So just look, look, for, look for the trees. There's one over there too. Look for the trees that sort of split the gate. Let's get some magic up in here. You ready for some magic? Beautiful people! <laughs> Wait, how does that song go? I don't know. Marilyn Manson. Oh, beautiful people. The Thank beautiful you. I couldn't people. get the... That, it was, certainly wasn't the way you did it. No, I know. Mine was more just of a... Hey, uh, let's leave today. And enter. <sighs> Which one would you like oh, to Oh, hey, you know what? A run of lower temperatures? That reminds me of, you know, there's a very similar tunnel and a very similar plaque as you get off the monorail in Tomorrowland that sort of shows you Town Square like this. They have the same exact thing uh, at the exit of monorail in Tomorrowland. Wait, what? I, I get Look at crickets. Crickets, no, these no. guys. He's, he's trying to make fun of us. He's mocking us. He's, yeah. yeah, but you didn't do a good job. I did a so great that's why job. I, was like, huh? I did a great job. Hey, should we take a vehicle? Let's take a vehicle. Okay. What's, what's open? 
What's coming down Main Street? Oh, hey, they got Piglet and Eeyore now. I got what they do. They were there t that day, Saturday. Really? Yeah, I, I stopped by there and I bought an Eeyore on the way out. What? Yeah, I yeah, almost I almost bigger. called you up. <laughs> Still much bigger. All right, well, hey, listen, I've got a better idea than Godzilla and Mothra fighting. Okay, that's gonna seem out of context. I'm gonna cut all that other stuff out. So. Wow. <laughs> Why would I bother talking? I could, but rather than get a Main Street vehicle, let's do something we haven't done in a long time. What? Let's get on the Disneyland Railroad and take that to Small World and we'll go ride Small World. Because no. that was the plan anyway. Here we go! There's a horse here, David! Come on! Let's go! Let's do it! Woo! We're going on a train. Come on! <laughs> okay, strange man, <laughs> They're gonna come with me, guys. We're all going on the train together. All of us together as a group of friends and stuff. We never, we never take the train to a place. I mean, I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. Fresh Bake doesn't. You, you, you mean you don't. You don't. The show doesn't. There we go. Still, I mean, I mean, that's as good of an admission as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah, we do. let's take the train to a place. Yeah. See, that's the beauty of the that's transportation ride. That's how people ride. do things. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just go in circles. No. <laughs> See, the beauty of a transportation ride is you can do both. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's both function and entertainment. Is that Mr. Marsh? Hello. All right. We're going to get on a train. Sir, there's your friend with the hat. Oh my god. Can I tell her again? Where? The, with the blue hat. Oh, that one. That guy, yeah, that we saw in downtown. Bro, he's killing it. Yeah. I do His like that. Says, it's, it says Agrabah something. So it's like yeah. a, it's a basketball jersey, but it's a play. Whoever oh, yeah, yeah. Agrabah's yeah. team would be. I think there's something to be said for um, just not caring. Just like, I'm just good. What, oh, what, man. whatever I want. I am all for <laughs> it's, it's not an caring. Omnibus. Omnibus. Oh, it's the ominous bus we were trying to wait for. Yeah. The, the ominous bus. You're on the train now. You're going to like it. Dude, the train is pretty. The ominous awesome. bus. I almost went in a different direction with that statement, but I didn't. I mean, I think it'll be the same direction, just a different word. <laughs> That's true. Similar direction. Look at how look at all that magic coming through here. Okay, watch all the faces go from like this to this. Look, well, she's dipple, got the no coolest dipple. Guardians of the Galaxy like retro shirt. Where? And she's like retro. Oh, I she's can't. killing it. I, You've already missed it. You've said she. She had like that could be half. The she people. had like Farrah Fawcett hair, and she oh, yeah. had like a retro Guardian shirt. Yeah. Like, Is she gone now? She was killing. She looked like she could have been Kurt's girlfriend in that beginning scene. Oh really? The the mom. The, the, mom. the scene just before he he, uh, yeah. he impregnates Will's her and then mom. kills her. Yeah. Yeah. That's what she looked like. Okay. But today. All right. Look at he's killing it. He's got glitter in his afro. I saw that. I love the glitter in your afro. <laughs> I don't think he can. Hear he's got it's... glitter all over him though. She's Killing got glitter it. too. They just rolled in glitter when they got up. Killing <laughs> it! They're both covered in glitter. Oh, that's how you do Disney. I'm gonna oh. show up in glitter. I remember we what was it? Um we went to some place and Oh no, glitter? it was it was when, when Liz got her tattoo. Uh -huh. Her uh, her face tattoo and the and the lady was it was like, Do you want glitter with that? She's like, Yeah. The question is that why haven't you been using glitter this whole time? <laughs> And Wait, this whole thing isn't glitter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a huh? well, well, the the Oh, there she is. Our next stop will be New Orleans Square. This is your stop for Adventureland, Frontierland, Critter Country, and New Orleans Square. Here we go. Remain seated. Thank you. That was the oddest train. Like, yeah, they don't normally do that, do they? Sorry. Is that how they normally do the, uh, you know? train spiel? They always have the conductor do a spiel and then the auto spiel first. 
Right, but that spiel seemed a little Welcome more casual, Disneyland Railroad. conversational. We're I don't know what I'm saying. Look, Disneyland. Tour of the Magic Kingdom. Yes, let's do it. We'll be stopping at New Orleans Square, come, Mickey's Toontown, and Tomorrowland. Like that. We'll also visit How the Grand Canyon about, like, and make a trip um, back in time to the primeval matching. world. And the oh, age of the like dinosaurs. I'm with Before her, returning I love you to Main Street Square, she's ones. my friend. As we begin no, our journey, like, remember that like, for a safe trip, sure you, have, like, you need to stay in the same shirt, keeping yeah, your like hands, red, arms, feet, like and like, legs inside the train. Sometimes I get and it. please watch your children. Mostly I don't get it. Bienvenidos a bordo del Disneyland Railroad. And you're like, I need to go to pink because I just want to look pink. That's true. Right, but then you got to count the pink still. Right. Like, we're gonna be constantly. That's, that's kind of driving yeah. nuts. Like, so that's okay, what I wonder. Like, there's gotta be, because we're just, we don't Our think that way. Our first stop is New Orleans Square right. Station. But, there's gotta but to be get like, there, yeah, we yeah, need we to pass to. through the wilds of Adventureland. Families of like, it may seem uh, peaceful uh, through here, have, like, but trust me, it's a real jungle out there. Literally. So be on the lookout. I will say that I am just never know what might be lurking along the rails. I'm with me. I'm with me. Well, yeah, just... I'm, I'm going to make an I'm with me shirt. Yeah. <laughs> just ahead no, of the World of Star Station. Yeah, yeah. This station also I'm serves Frontierland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be my online handle, was just leave me alone. <laughs> that was my... Time to a complete stop. To watch your staff as you're getting on. For those of you continuing on with this, we'll be resuming our trip in just a moment. I'm gonna make this is New Orleans Square Station. New Orleans Square. Like, move my hey, my As we steam past Hungry Bear Restaurant, the last outpost in these parts, we're now yeah, joining up with the rivers right of there. America and they're entering the frontiers of look more than a century and a half ago. Making things up. This is my no, there was rock. Sharing his stories with those in the Great River Valley below. This is a San Francisco. Oh, Traveling through nature's wonderland in a matter of days, rather than the months it used to take by mule or stagecoach. Steam power not only fueled these iron horses, but the dreams of a whole new generation as it moved west into this great frontier. Of course, some of those dreams, well, there the stories that went with them, were pretty darn wild and downright unbelievable. Like on Big Thunder Mountain, where I hear that mysterious spirits have grabbed hold of those mining dreams and turned them into the wildest ride in the wilderness. Did you hear that? Why is the rock growling at us? The rock is growling at us, yeah. That's an angry rock. There's a mountain lion. It's a mountain rock. Both. Mountain rock lion. Mountain lion rock. Rock lion or lion rock? Lion rock. It's like the singing bush, but it's the growling. I shot up. We all shot up. <laughs> Wait, oh, sh <laughs> I wish this I tunnel signals our oh, no! three amigos, Ian. The three amigos. The ones you'll find on Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Oh, our next stop is Toontown Depot, the official train station for Mickey's Toontown. The cartoon home where Mickey, Minnie, ah, and all their friends live. Yeah. And then what, are, the what were they doing? The, uh, that was part of the routine. You had, you had, in order to summon the singing bush, you had to recite the lines. And then something about and then shoot right? up. All three had to shoot up. And the white guy shot the singing bush. And the singing bush. And they were like, "Those of you continuing on with us, we'll be resuming our trip in just a minute." This is Toontown Depot. We're here for Small World Fresh Break. Let's do this before we get kicked off the train. They're just standing there, all like, "Hmm, nothing's going on." No. <laughs> They're all comedians that, like, without you knowing, you've you looked up to them. Oh, for sure. Trained by them, and you've been. Hey, like, there's the monorail. You're probably still on if you were to come in through downtown Jeff Disney. Please. No, you definitely already been here by now. Oh, okay. This is Steve Martin. <sighs> and then Martin Short, Chevy Martin Chase. Short. So those are like just the three most yeah. like. Would you say we have a plethora of pinatas? Currently, standby is uh, X. Video 
Oh, hey, we're going in. Hey, look, it's the snake thing, the serpent. They moved it. It used to be over here. Look at this lovely queue. We don't have to go through it today, though, because it's early. Still not even 10 o'clock. Is that new? That's a song. That's supposed to be. I think it's a turkey. I think it's a Thanksgiving turkey. Ethan, hey there. Like a Chinese thing? Eight-toed jaguar. Ooh, eight. Wow. Yeah. That's really specific. Well, we were going to find you no problem, Ethan, because it is a small world after all. I don't remember. It was always a jacket. What does that mean? Is it 9.30 or 9.45? It is probably 10. It's 10? Yeah. Oh, look. Hey. It's the Disneyland Railroad. We were just on that with Ernest S. Marsh. There's the friendly cast member who asked me to move or not move. Hey, there's our muffins. Hi, guys. That's some Disneyland magic in that tray. You guys are doing it right. That's, that's doing that Disney. That was pure magic. Yep. It's hot. I was streaming this morning because I was stuck in Mickey and Friends. And I was telling everybody that you should be kind and ask people how they're doing when they ask you how you're doing. Yeah. And then, you know, sometimes people get shocked when you ask them how they're doing. Yeah, I've, I've had that. I'm doing, I'm doing great. Thank you. <laughs> Having a really tough time, actually, man. Thank you for asking. What's going on over here? Somebody lose something? I'm trying to tree something out of the water, so in the meantime, I'm sending folks down this side. Oh, I was here last night. Wow. Our friend, Is that our boat? Did we get our boat? Boom, boom, boom. First break, I would have shown you more of our yeah, boat going around the corner, but we just spent 35 minutes taking selfies with a bear. That's important. It was worth it, David. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> important, dog. Okay. It was worth it, David. <laughs> Countdown to happiness in three, two, air conditioning. That was the longest three seconds. I know.
don't want to go out. No, I don't want to go out. No. Crawl back in. Crawl back in. No. Don't make me. Ethan's getting choked out by the sun now. Don't make me. Oh, look at the lion has a handsome new mane. Is it a lion rock or a rock lion? Lion bush. A oh, lion lobster. What's going on over here? <laughs> Are you holding that correctly? I think it looks backwards. Well, what do you want from me? <laughs> no, that's actually down. That's backwards. Yeah, that's correct. It's just upside down now. What are these? What's those, this? Are her, those are her buddies. What, what's this show about? That's Zoom. Zoom? Si, esta es Estrella. That's the name, Estrella? Yeah, do you know what that means? Street. Star. Wait, someone at my work has the name. I think it means street. It means star. Okay, but I mean... Keep I, arguing with me. I took to your Spanish. Okay. I don't know what this one's name is, because there's no... Boulevard? Yes. Boulevard of Broken Dreams. There you go. Those are nice. your buddies. But do you walk alone? Yes. I, and uh, maybe you're going to be the one that saves me. Okay. After all, you're my wonder Oh, okay. Uh, okay. You went, yeah. We were just going indie, you know. Uh, is there any small world merch in here? <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, I think we looked at this we before. But, uh, but you can buy that. Remember when I told the muffins that if you put the little thing in the center, it would sing their part oh, of yeah. the country? Yeah. There was muffins that owned it and they had no idea and they were like, bro. Really? <laughs> yes. Cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, look, there's a $300 Dooney bag. Um, I don't think you can pick that up, Sarah. They're all connected. Well, They're all connected. <laughs> I'm trying, trying to model it for you, but you know. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty, but I don't know. This is for the uh, interchangeable. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. The, the bow thing. Or if you were me, you would literally just wear that. Right. Yeah, what's wrong with that, right? Nothing. Evil queen. Oh. So I look okay? Do I look okay? Yeah, yeah, I, I think okay? so. Okay, go get him. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, man. Hey, Sabotage. Oh. Uh, okay, okay, okay. He said wait. He said wait. Okay, 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 okay. <clears throat> Hey, hey, boo, how you doing? Look over all hats up today. Oh, no, ignore that. Come on, boys, come on. Oh. <laughs> ignore that. No, I, no, I don't know what you just saw right now. That was nothing. No, I swear. You're Definitely single-ish. Definitely single. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell Christian. No. Don't tell Christian. <laughs> Watch. Watch Bye. <laughs> I got things to do. Places to go. People to steal from. Your pants to capture. Yep. Tinker bells to crush. Well, we just lost a girlfriend. People to hook. Okay. Scrolling to do. Oh, is he going? Oh. I didn't know it was me. <laughs> Poor Evil Queen. I said, did you not notice that Evil Queen wanted some of that attention you were giving her? No, she wanted Hook. No, she wanted Hook. Oh, was that what it was? She was getting mad that she was like, how come? She was asking Hook, how come you're not giving me that attention? Oh. That's why I was like, hey, dog, you're pissing Queenie off. I don't know. Yeah, Clearly, there's a history there. Yeah. Clearly, I need to, I might be stepping on toes. Oh. Evil Queen and yeah. Hook. Who knew? I don't. I don't need beef with the Evil I Queen. Like, is that I, that probably happens in Kingdom Hearts, doesn't it? That, that feels probably. Like, well, she, no. It was um, it was Evil Queen and Pete, wasn't it? I don't know. I'm, I think there, it was I'm Pete. Not, I'm only like what, halfway through the first game still. <laughs> yeah, we're over here, I think, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, do we? Yeah. Yeah, we have some fast passes I for the Matterhorn. I took care of that. I got it. But, uh, are we going left this time? Wow, we hardly ever get to go left. That's the best side. I find myself coming to the Matterhorn and always loving the, uh, the music, the cue. Like I want to 
bump my head to it a little bit, enjoy the music. I want like pretzel bites and a bratwurst. Okay, but look, beer. Okay, listen, pretzel lady, calm down for a second. It's the Oompa I know, but you, like when you go home and you're listening to J. Cole or. But I didn't win tickets. Because you didn't win tickets to or whatever, you're like, you know what, I need a break from J. Cole, I'm gonna listen to. Do you ever, that would never happen, right? Yeah, it would. You obviously don't hang out with me at home. You've got oompa pa music at home on your, on your playlist. David is doubting that I would go, like, at home listening to music, that I would go from, like, J. Cole to this. Let me see your playlist. Bob's oh, little I'll show you. You will soon be embarking on a thrilling race down the icy slopes of the Matterhorn. Before boarding, All right, please study the seating diagram just to any of you have once in a bobsled. Please any glasses, kind of camouflage, and any, any other loose pa, items in a secure spot. Then, hold on, on for on a your, thrilling on your Spotify adventure. Or, Weird Al. Or we, well, yeah, I guess he does. No, Weird Al counts. Weird Al counts? He does a lot of accordion music. I know, but it's a not... Woo! That 
was way faster than that was, that was like a five second ride. Right? We just got started, we're already like turbo. <laughs> My goodness. Ian, did you hit the nod? I, yeah, I think he did hit the boost. I think he hit the nod. Dude, you, you didn't listen to too soon, man. Too soon. Always. We, the light barely turned green. Yeah. Ah! might be my most favorite ride of all time ever. I think that Fresh Baked needs every noise that I make or else they just don't get the full gist of the day. Well, okay, well now that you've said that, I am going to put that in there. <laughs> I was just giving her grief for, for, for copying. Uh, you yeah, see what was... happens, Fresh Baked? I breathe and I get yelled at. No, you didn't breathe though. You breathed with vigor. Like, it was aggressive negotiations as per Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> Maybe I'm was thirsty just and I'm dying breathing. of thirst. How about that? <laughs> But no, for real, that was that was a wild ride. In the Ian hit the nog wave. <laughs> I love that bit you did. <laughs> Just the, <laughs> right off the line, nos. <laughs> That's not how it's done. You gotta wait for the opportune moment. Right when the Yeti is supposed to hit you, then you hit the knock. We knots. got to the bottom before the other Bob so which left before us. It's so true. I think did we, we have, did we wind up beating them? I think we won. I mean, I, don't I know, know Mauer's not actually a race, but I think we won. Hey, I have an idea though. Let's uh. Let's get some liquid refreshment here. Oh my god, that's the best idea. You right have. here at the Tomorrowland Terrace, and then uh, we'll start our pin trading adventure. What and do you I'm say? Cough and sputter my liquid all over. Could you do that, please? Because I was we were getting a lot of comments about how much they miss that. Yeah, let's get some drinks. I love it. Is that a new drink? Uh, that fruity looking thing? Let me see. Yes, it's a moody brew. A moody brew. Oh, it's probably just inside out. But it's... What? what? Show me that. There it is again. Pineapple and lime slush with light-up That's the exact same drink that was before. They use their oh, yeah, something different. I don't care. I want one. Okay. I love pineapple and lime slush. And I love light-up orbs. They call it a moody blue, but it's mostly yellow. Wouldn't you agree? They yeah. should call it a moody yellow. Oh, the, the, the blue, it makes it, the, the sign made it look like it was half blue, half yellow. Well, it's a moody brew. Oh. Moody brew. See, I'm, I'm Mandeling that, that nonsense right there. It's a moody brew. Are you feeling mellow yellow? That's more like mellow yellow, yeah. It does change color, though. Yep. Call How many of those do you have at home? None. This is my first one. You don't have any of those little glowy things? No, nope, because I've always thought that they are a very expensive dumb purchase. What? Well, now you don't have to worry about it. Now I don't worry about it. He got his first glow cube. I have a whole bag of them. I know. I've got so many of those. I've got Millennium Falcons and cubes. Does all come with alcohol drinks? Yep, exactly. Do they, like, turn on yeah. and off? Or, like, yeah, you, you can turn it off. And there's different settings. And you can replace the battery. What? There's just a little yeah. button and you can put, there's like three settings usually. Uh-huh. Every time there's I use my hydro flask. Booty, <laughs> Savage, and Out of Control. Yes. Those are the wow. three Yeah. I'm going to drink some of this. All right, last stop for this uh, for this little adventure, guys. We're over here in Tomorrowland at the, uh, what do they call it? Now what do they call this? Okay, well, so this is it's still different. The, it's still the Tomorrowland Theater. What's that? But these are three different shorts. Right. And As the three they were showing in Sunset. Somehow they've years. decided that oh. Pixar shorts should be played at the Tomorrowland Theater. Piper, Lava, and For the Birds. Uh, which one is your favorite of those three? I think mine is yes. lava. <laughs> nope. Lava was the beginning of Inside Out. Lava was was the beta version of Moana. Even I, though lava was Pixar. I painted, was, was I painted a, a picture of that. Of lava? And I've never Piper seen was it. Moana. Really? Nope, Piper was Finding Dory. Moana had inner workings because remember different studios. Where do you? How do you keep all that in no, there? No, it's true. He's correct. I know, exactly but how's that? Correct. I mean, no, with the long, the little it's just like, like it I can water, almost see like the catalog Dory. and him no, just sorting his brain, Moana. finding no. what. Moana had inner workings. The one with the guy who's all heart, brain, heart, brain. Yeah, yeah. Heart. And he, I think he peed twice in that. No, just once. Was it just once? Okay, yeah. I thought there was two. No, just once. <laughs> 
Uh, all right, so if you want to see some Pixar shorts fresh baked, Is that the one what's the most the obvious place to go? Oh, on the power line? But to Tomorrowland. So. Because Pixar exactly. Fest, guys. Because, because Pixar Fest and stuff. Are you still wanting to yell? Okay, okay Pixar. It's for the birds, the one where they fling the bird yeah. up. And yeah, all, all the, the weight of it the you know, brings the... And the what was that? That was a long time ago. That might have been in front of Monsters, that was Yeah, I mean, that, that long time ago. It's one of the very first ones. I feel like it's either one of the last Toy Stories or Monsters. Right, it's definitely... It's it's, it's, it's certainly no later than Monsters Toy Story 2. Because I never saw the last Toy Stories in the theater, and I remember that mm. short in the theater. So oh, like, is that right? I bet we're going to go with Monsters. Okay, let's go with Monsters then. Everybody, we're going with Monsters. Go, go with Monsters! Fresh bake is what? <laughs> What? We're gonna do pin trading today. Awesome. Um, and we're gonna start at like the greatest place to start. Yeah. As far as pin trading goes. Where's that? Westward Ho Trading. Westward Ho. All right. Shall we go in? Yeah, cause like even if you don't know where to start, I feel like that big sign. The one, the one that says wanted pin traders. That really big sign. I feel like that's. <laughs> major locations this being one of those you're gonna find your walls sorted Mickey and friends holidays and celebrating oh yeah there's more here princesses they get a whole one for Winnie the Pooh what's new animated features here's some uh, limited edition stuff animated features Pixar theme parks these are my favorite theme parks and resorts and then here's one for now each store kind of has one of their own because we didn't like if you if we go to if we go to store command for example which we're going to go in a minute they don't have a nightmare before christmas no and they don't have all they choose to divide up the world. right they so each store section. each store has their own little subsections that's my favorite like, the pirate not, section they're not calling this a marvel section this is a marvel now but having said that uh store command does have a marvel section i think yeah and there's a star wars one over there here's that star wars wall that ian was yeah. mentioning i heard he is a no good swindler he has a great fashion sense, though. Mm -hmm. Kind of a smooth criminal. What'd you find? I have to tell Fresh Baked about these things. Oh, Pouches. oh, it's your pouch. Your, uh, you can put your AP or whatever in there. AP, yeah. credit card, money, yeah, yeah. ID. Hang that from your lanyard. Hopes and dreams. Hopes and dreams. As a matter of fact, be. I want to... Listen, okay. I want to talk about starting a set. Because some people are new to trading, and this yeah. is a great place to do, or to, to start that, if you don't know how. Let's go find some starter sets and maybe get a lanyard. We we're showing you these starter sets because <clears throat> you don't want to start on the internet, which some people are tempted to do because you can find quote unquote bargains on the internet. No, you can't. But those are fake. Those are fake. <laughs> get your pins at Disneyland, guys. Ooh, look at this one. Okay, so here you go. You got a themed lanyard. Okay, but this is new. Pins. Look at it's the it's the outside of him, oh. but he's in his silhouette. It's the outside of her, but yeah, she's in yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Uh, and then you got a whole wall full of them here, uh, different themes. You know, if you were like, if you're a Mickey fan, or if you're a Donald fan, or whatever, Alice in Wonderland. They tend to change these like, every few. They months. change often, yeah. Yeah. So this is a set that you can start with a lanyard, or if you've already got a lanyard, or you don't want a lanyard, you can just. There's a whole bunch of other starter packs. Or here. if you're impatient like me and you want to start and act like you've been doing it forever, then you know, kind of alludes to like, look at, right. look at. Yeah, yeah, uh, dude, I got my, I got right. a lanyard. What are you talking about? I mean, so, Sarah, I want to buy a lanyard set. Which one should we get? I want to start my collection. Can you start? What about this 70s looking solo themed That was like that set. cool Guardian shirt that chick yeah. had on. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah, it's so retro. I love it. So, Sarah has opted for the modern Mickey Mouse uh, cartoon set with your modern Mickey. But still with the pie eye. Still got pie eyes, yeah. It's a very cute set. Let's purchase this. Pouches. Right, so these are your trading books. They're not open for us, but yeah. you can see how and you, and you can get additional pages for them. Uh, or and then, or if you, yeah, are there pages in the, uh, in the satchels? Yep. This is what I typically see traders mm -hmm. with. Your pro traders are gonna use one of those. these, yeah. This is probably easier anyways. Yeah, there you go. Though, and, though I think with these, you can't really add pages to these. There's a fixed right, amount. It's, yeah, it's, with a binder, you can in. kind of keep adding it. But uh, yeah, you'll find, if you if you trade with other traders, you finally get, they're typically going to trade out of these books. This is, I guess Westward Ho is probably the the, the major, the main, the, the key, the primary pin trading shop, in my opinion, anyway, because this is where you go to get the majority of your limited edition stuff. This whole cash wrap is full of limited edition stuff. And mystery pack boxes. Yeah, and mystery pack boxes. Like, let's look inside here. 
Got some commemorative pins. Baked for, this is DVC stuff, it looks like. And then a big Disney Visa. And there's your Visa Rewards <laughs> pins. That's a pretty cool pin, by the way. I want to go get me a Visa card now. Uh, cameos. That's new. Here's a couple of those mystery boxes that Ian was talking about. The How to Speak Whale with Dory. That's new. I haven't... No, that's, I mean, new to you. <laughs> new to me? Oh, okay. Uh, and Monsters University. That I would love to see that set. Those are the Monsters University that we were seeing over there. Ooh, look at that. Disney Streets. Donald Street. Oh my gosh, how fun. Now these are uh, like mystery packs. You get, you get pins two box. pins in each box and you're trying to build an, oh there's the Dory set, an eight pin collection. And some sets have like, will have like a completer or a pin to uh, okay. Or ones that are uh, like, oh you don't know what these are. I oh, right. every single one from this collection. Those are all the Haunted Mansion paintings. Oh my gosh. Like throughout the whole ride. Yeah. This really is, this is like trading or collecting baseball cards. This is upsetting me. I want that whole, I want every box in there. Wow. Here's a little pin trading station here. It's a, it's a wheel. It's a wheel what? of trading. Do you see anything you like here? What's that? I believe Star Wars thing. I believe it's supposed to be the, that's the symbol of the Galactic Senate. I want to say. Wow. I've never known to want a symbol of the Galactic Senate. I don't recognize it any of these hardy. Oh, look at that C-3PO one. That's interesting. There's a snowflake. Yeah. Because I'm predictable, I'm going to go for another figment. Oh Dang. my gosh. Dang. Ian is just crazy for figment. Can right. you blame him? So he just swapped out his Penny Arcade pin. All right. Okay, fresh bake. Yeah. Did you know that if you wanted to be trading with other guests who are professional pin traders, and you don't just want to go up to cast members. But there's actually meetups that happen in Disneyland. And over here is one of the most common areas that you can find just groups and binders and shiny things <laughs> everywhere. Um, and if you want to participate in one of those, I do believe there's a Facebook page that you can look up and I'm sure some other social media pages and they inform everybody of when they're going to have a meetup. Um, and usually a big crowd turns out. So very, very even if you're like a little bit shy, I imagine that the pin training community is going to be like, come on. So uh, this is going to be one of your best bets. And then actually kind of along this whole little area of Frontierland, this stretch over where we were earlier. Um, there's some picnic benches by Westwood Ho and they also do meetups over there. Probably the second most comprehensive collection of pins in the park is here at, at uh, the store command, Buzz Lightyear store command. They've Buzz got, Lightyear store they've got command. The, the normal stuff, they've got your what's new, your Mickey and friends, your animated features, a little bit of uh, limited edition stuff. Let's see what they've got here, Sarah. I feel like we've seen, you know, it's, it's they, this type of stuff, these collections are growing. Uh, you really see more are. and more of these these themed these themed collections like this. <laughs> what you were saying? <laughs> I'm to Here's some limited edition, Sarah. That's a tie pilot. That is totally. And you know, whereas like the the, the the themed walls, what's new and Mickey and Friends and all that stuff, where that, that those collections often don't change. The stuff you find in these boxes change often. It's usually at least one or two new ones each week. Yeah, they, I mean every, every every time we're here, there's a new set. I definitely this is the first wall I'll come to because you always find random pieces like this, yeah. and I get excited that like good. I'm glad that he has a pin. Well, like yeah. the first time I saw the tailspin or dark right. Pin, right? Yeah, the what's new? The what's new wall is really if you're a, if you're a regular collector, if you've been doing this for regular, a little while. Right. That's pretty much where you're gonna live. That's is exactly. on that wall. Yeah, yeah that's new also right here. Out. This is the thing. Uh, you you don't. I like these myself. I love the, the, the park related I stuff. Love that's the Grand, Grand California. California. To me, has the most. He's, he's chilling in that little uh, that little uh, waiting area with the fireplace, watching cartoons. Another great area to, to get your to get your set started. If you're if you're a beginner. Lanyards, starter sets. Uh, These are the essentials. Oh yeah, you can. Well, if you, yeah, if you don't like the the, the Mickey backs, I'm locking. Not a, I'm not a fan of these myself. Well, if you are too afraid of losing them, you might as well lock it. But you've got some color coded ones. You can even do princess backings. Pr ooh, princess backings. There's Cinderella shoe and mini bow and oh, look Aurora at that. brown. That's this fun. one is also sorcerer hat and looking back. Yeah, look at that. Themed backings. So there's uh, like, okay, so there's different kinds yeah. of lanyards. So it always just depends Depending on, on whatever what your whatever your uh, aesthetic is. So I like these that come down and match at the end because I like to show ah, all my yeah, things. Yeah. Store Command is also an excellent location for finding 
cast members training pins. We've got a cast member right here with a little bit of a following training with guests. That's her board. Let's find a pin you like. Okay. Ian has found himself. What did you find, Ian? Figment. A figment. So he gets the figment, and she and gets the spectrum. Yep. Right on. So now spectrum is part of her trade. Yep. Fun, huh? Yep. One of the other sort of lesser known trading spots here is the 20th Century Music Company. It's not as well. I don't know. It's not as crowded. When you, if you if you want a little more peace, but similar, you know, same kind of wall structure here. They do also have. You know, we saw this over here at Westward Ho. Uh, some of the um, limited edition stuff, they've got a back wall back there. Some more of the Star Wars stuff there. A lot of your uh, your blind sets, lanyards, etc. First mate, come on. We gotta go to downtown Disney. There's more pins down there, and I'm gonna take you over there right now. And literally, just as you exit the monorail, our next pin trading location, our pin shopping. Sir, we're in downtown Disney. This is one of the more unknown, I think, because people want to buy their people pins. People forget. Like, but it's great. This is a great location for, and for everything. it's always very um, easy to browse. Yeah, over right, here. right. So easy. We were just, Ian and I were talking about that, a 20th century music shop where I felt like it was less it's, crowded, it's, but it's still it's kind of tight in there. Man. This, you feel like you can get around and take your time and browse easily. I could like football it to you. And they've got everything. This place has got everything. Yeah, they've got everything here. Okay. Just all on individual racks, etc. Yeah, that's going to be. I'm uh, it. Have you told the muffins about the prices? Well, let's do that. How no, we works. haven't. So, if you want to know how much it is, it does, they don't put the prices on the pin. They just tell you what color yellow. it is. It costs yellow. It costs yellow. yellow. So just refer to the color coded thing, and easy enough, it's a twelve dollar pin or a thirteen dollar pin. Have you told the difference between open edition, limited edition, and limited release? No, please. So these are all open editions, meaning they're just, they'll keep making them more or less indefinitely until at some point they stop. You right, know, as far, far as demand yeah. goes. In the far future. In the far future. Yeah, a limited edition is a set of number of pins made, okay. like limited 2,000 or limited 500. Right, right. 2, limited releases, they'll, they'll keep making them, but only for a set amount of time. Like a like season. Like a couple of months or something. Yeah. So there's not a set number, but a set period of production. Okay. Either way, you kind of, if you saw, if you find a limited edition or a limited release available and you're a collector, Scoop. Also, there are ones that are limited to just annual pass holders, too. Yep. Or, yes. like we were saying before, Visa card holders. Yeah. Yes, DVC. Or DVC, like yeah. DVC yeah. Some are a lot. Of like yeah. Let's go look at some of those over here, actually, because I think they have them inside. And here's that enormous Nemo pin again. I haven't seen this anywhere else. Oh, that's the one we were talking about before that has the doors. You can flip that one. Well, right? Okay. See this guy? Yeah. That's we Ant -Man. haven't seen him all day long. No, we haven't. So, if you are really looking for a limited edition pin, you've got to have it. You've already checked Westward, everything. Yeah. Don't forget this place. Don't forget. Right. Because we haven't seen that. And because downtown, like we said, is a yeah. little less known, popular, you might have a better chance. And this is actually only the second place I've seen Sam. Correct. We saw Sam earlier yeah. this morning. So, if anything, maybe come start here. Yeah. We've been going to all these locations, right? We've been trading, showing you uh, how to start, where to start, who you can start. But that was all at Disneyland. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but there's some really fun interactive uh, trading spots, you can call them, on Buena Vista Street. So, come into DCA, get over here on Buena Vista Street, and look out for some black decorated tables, and go find a cast member and see what they got going on. No, we're going to work? Yes. Are, are we going legendary? This is it. No whammies. You're ready. No whammies, okay? So you do have a lifeline in the okay? You do have a life. So you can do an extra person. This extra is like, character. rather than a normal trading table with the shell game, they're doing trivia, She's Sarah. Doing trivia like, 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 uh, who wants to be a millionaire style? Well, so that was why I wanted to show you guys the Buena Vista Street stuff. Yeah. So anytime I pass them, they make you work yeah, yeah. for the pin trick. Right. And I like that. I think yeah, that's fun. Yeah. It's and a plus new it's, twist on it. This is more fun than yeah, just uh, is, give me your pins. Yeah. <laughs> plus, it's cool if your whole family is yeah. with you. Well, these like, guys are really into it. Right. They can all get into it. 
Two come out Wait. in theaters in 3D with red and blue glasses. Anyone? Oh, she's doing the whole sound effects too. <laughs> in 3D, bolt. I'm gonna go bolt. I'm gonna go bolt. Oh wait, you didn't. Toy Story? No, that wasn't 3D. I know she's giving them way too much time. Is that correct? I was looking for his Treasure Planet. Treasure Planet. <laughs> okay, I'm blown away right now by Trigger that. Planet. <laughs> uh, but when you are in Buena Vista Street, so uh, if you're not familiar, most of the shops connect yeah. on both sides sure. of Buena Vista Street. So you can start at the very end. Uh, if the tables are not outside, come check inside. Have right, some fun you'll find something in there. And then when you've done pin trading, if you want to find any more new pins or just this is a great stop. Yeah, great place for new pins. Uh, we are inside Julia's Cats and Sons. And there's a nice little section for the all your pins. Now, most of these big ones, like we've been saying, all have a what's new section. Yes. And then and then their featured sections usually vary. Right, uh, sectioned off. Right. Uh, this one's got princesses. There's, they're really getting onto the solo buy one, get one down there. <laughs> I think <laughs> you were right. I think they, over, they overbought, I think, I think on, yeah. uh, on that. But like the other stops, lanyards, starter pin sets, that kind of thing. There's the look for those bags. That's we we're pointing those out before. Let's go look at that real quick. When it comes to trading, uh, we're gonna look at this in tomorrow's video and about you know, you know how you to trade. And you feel like I don't know if I can trade that many pins. Yeah. There's a little. Yeah, there's a little one there. Plus they're stylish too. You can get a. Oh my gosh, that's like a, it's a little junior for beginners maybe. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're gonna get into this tomorrow. But. If you're looking, you know, looking for traders, look for one of these things. Look at the cute that you can store. Thank you. He's got like four pages, right? One. Four little baby pages. A little. That's a separator. So that's oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's so they don't rub pages. off on each other. Yeah, three pages. And a pocket. And a <laughs> All right. For your special. All right, Fresh Baked. We showed you Westward Ho. We showed you the pin trading spots in downtown Disney. We showed you special little get-together spots. And we even let you know about these super secret awesome uh, cast member interacting spots that they got going on in Buena Vista Street. So, hope you enjoyed going to all the pin locations with us. That's where you want to go if you want to pin trade. So I hope you had fun with us. And if you did have fun with us, make sure you stay tuned. We are going to be giving you guys more <laughs> tips, tricks, and all the etiquette of pin trading. So make sure you keep staying watch. Fresh Baked! Hi Fresh Baked! <laughs> We're back. And we've got a little bit more pin trading stuff for you guys. Yesterday, we were doing all the best locations. We had to show you where to get started. Some people might not even know where to get started. But today, we're gonna be doing a little bit different when it comes to pin trading. We wanna show you the etiquette. There is a complete list of rules of <laughs> etiquette, and Fresh Baked thinks that you should know that. Um, so we wanna let you guys know just like the best ways to interact with other pin traders, how to interact with cast members, and just your basics on uh, how to. Okay, Fresh Baked. We gotta tell you our number one golden rule, and I think David and I can agree that we might have made this up, but it should work for all of the training. Uh, be kind, do unto others as you want done onto yourself, and don't take pin trading too seriously. This is a fun thing. You want to be light about it. It's not a competition. Don't yank somebody's pin away from them. Just enjoy it. And the second you want to be trading only official Disney pins, and you should be trading only official Disney pins. Who wants to make a trade with you and then they walk away and they've got a fake pin from you? <laughs> Nobody. Uh, so make sure that you are trading official Disney pins, and there's a few ways to figure that out. It's pretty easy. The first way is to flip your little pin over, look at the back of the pin, and look for the actual logo with the Disney copyright pin trading logo on it, and it should be on the back of every official Disney trading pin. So you want to make sure that you're looking at the back for that first sign. If you're still unsure even with that, in a little bit, we do have some other ways that we want to show you guys in order to make sure you have the official Disney okay. to trade. Oh my god. I just had to get into my, you know. Oh, were you, were you coming into scene? Is right. that right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> fresh break. Yes. Tip number three. Pick number two, my lord. Number three. Three. Yeah. Tip number three. Got it. Do this, okay? That 
is a mighty nice BB-8 pin you have on there well, thank you. on your satchel, sir. Thank you very You're much. You're so welcome. Who I've never met before. You're right. <laughs> Don't do this, fresh bait. Hey man, can I say hey, no? I just wanna, I no, just no, no, but I like baby eight's my homie, man. No. Don't. Fresh bait. Don't. Yes. Tip number four. If you're a little bit timid, you're not sure where to start when it comes to are you available for trade? Are you available for trade? Who is, who isn't? Look for an actual trading lanyard with some real nice obvious pins. If you see that somebody has a pin, it's not like a bag or a on a hat. satchel, a bag, a pin, a purse, maybe don't assume that those are up for trading. If they have a very obvious little patch that they are wearing, that's a definite trading. Lanyard, trading, or uh, some of them even actually I've seen like ask me, almost oh, like a cast member. Yeah. And they kind of, because they've got so many, I'm sure that they're just like, they'll bust it out for you. But, Backpacks, purses, personal spaces. Don't assume that those are up for grabs. A lot of people just for just what collect pins. Some people just collect pins. They just like yeah. their. Pins. They just want to wear their pins. Yep. Don't ask. Them. Okay. And this one is pretty important. Um, I actually did not realize this until David reminded me. So <laughs> you can tell it's really important because it's not that well known. How about that? Uh, some of these pins come in pairs. So if you flip it over, you can see there's literally two separate pins in this right. pair. Okay. Please don't ever just trade that. Trade that. the pair as a, as a set. Trade the pairs. Make sure you're holding them together. You don't have to keep them on the backing, obviously, but you know if you're carrying them around, you gotta keep the pairs together. Uh, nobody wants. I know. <laughs> there's no context. <laughs> Like maybe you could possibly get away right. with that. Maybe. That's sweet. That's sweet. <laughs> Just don't go. Just don't go. Just make it easy for everyone involved. And, and like, cause for real, if you came and you tried to trade with me and I was a cast member and you only left me with I know, like, really? <laughs> what, what do you know? <laughs> I know what you did last summer. Yeah. Well, so keep, Got it. keep the pairs in mind when you're Got trading. It. All right, Fresh Bake. So now you know about the pairs. We have one little bit of advice for pin trading etiquette. It's our last piece of advice. Uh, we showed you guys all the different boards, so you can go into the places, you can ask a cast member, go straight up and find the board, take what you want. You can also trade with cast members. So if you find a cast member wearing a very obvious lanyard, pins on the lanyard, <laughs> you are more than welcome to go up to said cast member, ask them to start trading, and they will enjoy to do a trade with you. Um, and then. One little like <laughs> secret part to that is if it's a green lanyard, that is specifically for children. So if you got your little kids and you're trying to train them to be seasoned pin traders, keep them, tell them, look for the green lanyards and they'll have their own little experience. Right on. Now, how often can we trade with cast members? So CMs have a rule. Two trades per day per CM. Ah. So if That's you, a lot though. It, it is a lot, but if they might have like eight that you want. Yeah. Come back tomorrow. Okay, so two trades per day per CM and you should be good. I know that we're in the middle of a uh, pin trading video. But that's a much a lot of it. We're enjoying. <laughs> wow. We are enjoying. We're, we're doing it. like three shows at once here, Fresh Baked. Okay, so what are the things that uh, is important to understand when it comes to pin trading is being able to spot a counterfeit? Because, well, first of all, if you if you're buying pins, don't buy counterfeits. And the way you start by not buying counterfeits. Don't buy lots on eBay. Don't go on eBay. You don't might, go on I mean, Amazon. Big, lots of like 100 pins on eBay. For 20 bucks. If your pin is a dollar, it's a fake. Chances are if those big lots are large. Pins. Yeah. Now, that said, you might not care. You might say, I like if the you pin don't anyway. care? Yeah. Like, if you're just there to collect? If you're like, you know what, I, I, it's not official, but I like the design anyways, right. that's fine. Okay. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's very good. Good point. However, if you are trading etiquette with, me. with other traders or with cast members, uh, you got to know. Well, no, I'm saying you got to know how to spot one. Yes. Because people will trade their their counterfeits with they could be cast members. Trading. Right, and the cast member's not going to say no. They don't even look. And that means there may be a fake sitting on a board. And um, so, guys, we did a couple <laughs> what, trades. What, Ian? A fake sitting on a board? Ian, <laughs> part of our show today was uh, we traded or yesterday. We traded for these pigments. Yeah, these pigments. One of these is not real. Not like it's the fake. Others. And we're gonna show you how. Okay. So 
this one on the back, besides all the symbols and the printing, yeah. you see there's this imprinted Mickey yep. pattern. Official ones have that. This uh -huh. one does not. It has everything else on there, even yeah. the you know five out of five in the right. set. But that's it not. It does there. have it does have the pin trading yeah. logo. But it does not have and the, the, and the copyright. But, but it doesn't, doesn't have, have the imprinted pattern. That was my my first kind of red yeah. flag after we left. So I started. Look, I like to try to look at the picture. I sure it's like you know right. you made paint hidden Mickey. Pin, right. right. These are hidden Mickey, Mickey pins. So got got it. Little. Yes. So I searched out. Not very hidden, by the way. And I found an image of the actual, which hopefully Dave will put in right now. Insert camera sound. So the first, <laughs> so first note is the coloring. Yeah. This one, the coloring is a little off. It's a little more faded. Figment's wings in the back aren't really properly orange, mm -hmm. and the actual one's a little more vibrant pink, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Couple, well, that's why Disney is gonna. They're not. They don't. This is a cheaper paint. Yeah. Disney doesn't use cheap materials. Yeah. So sometimes also the paint job itself won't be as good. Right. Like yeah. As far as we can tell, this one is okay, not a fake. One of the things that I've learned uh, on the back, where you where you have the pin, it's hard to see here because it's really small. But there's two little bumps right oh, yeah. next to the pin. Yeah. Those are to kind of help hold the uh, pin backing. Right. So it kind of has something. To kind Many of, of your counterfeits them. don't have those. Sometimes they, they do. Sometimes they right. don't. Right. Well, this one does. This one but, does. Th but look out for that. Look out for. You know, you can't like any. The can't little really see nubs. It. You can feel it with your, with your yeah. finger. All right. Now, in addition to some of the coloring differences, where we're showing uh, maybe not as good of paint or whatever. That they're... And then drawing, drawing inaccuracies. Right. Drawing inaccuracies. Uh, one of the other ways that you, they're going to make them cheap is by using less quality materials. Yeah. And one of the ways, or a couple of the ways, you can tell if they're using poor materials is on the edges. Uh, if you just the edges will be a little rougher, perhaps, or less, you know, less smooth. You're gonna get smooth edges on your authentic uh, Disney pieces, and if that fails you, then try to find one that is similar to another one, and then feel if they weigh any different. Uh, I'm not comparing that, so I can't speak to right, that that's myself. A, right, so that's what I'm saying. You have to kind of you may, maybe look for one that's similar in design and style or whatever. A, a cheaper quality is going to be lighter in weight yeah. than uh, a finer quality will typically when it comes to stuff like this. But for the, the most straightforward test, is just going to be to see if it has that print, imprinted pattern, mm -hmm. check the coloring, and any weird like drawing details sure. that seem off. Sure. That's the easiest, just to check kind of. Sure. All right. So, by the way, there's a little bonus check, and I don't know if you're aware of this or not. Disney pins are not magnetic. I'm not as far as I know. But the counterfeits. Might be. Can be. Because if they're using a different material. So if you're serious about your trading, yeah, if you're serious about your trading, I've heard of people bringing magnets with them to trade events just to see if, I mean, it's not the, it's not the end on BL, uh, but a Disney ma a Disney pin won't be magnetic. Hey man, people who magnetic. know their jewelry will bring those little things yeah. to examine mm -hmm. it. I got no problem, I'll bring a magnet. Oh, yep. nope, sorry, fake, can't. Right, so if, it, if it's not magnetic, that doesn't mean it isn't a fake, but if it is magnetic, Definitely it's a fake. A fake. Yeah. I like that one. I didn't yeah. know. I didn't know that. Yeah. All right, fresh baked. That was it. We are all done pin trading. We've given you Ooh. all of our tips. You know, uh, don't attack somebody. Don't. Yeah, no, don't take, don't just <laughs> personal take space. Yeah, you know, personal space. Uh, we've given you uh, tricks yeah. on counterfeit pins. How to you know, find a you counterfeit. Gotta yeah. yeah. You gotta check the back. You gotta check the back. We have given you etiquette. Yep. Don't run in the street. Don't run in the street. Bye. <laughs> Two CM pins traded. There you go. Per day. Per day. And you know what? I think that's all we got for you guys. But I yeah. hope that you enjoyed these little tips and tricks. I hope maybe you learned something about pin trading etiquette. Yeah. Maybe if you have a pin trading etiquette uh, tip. tip that we didn't say, by all means, leave it in the comments for us and everyone else. And until next time. Hey. Yeah, go out and trade, guys. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Fresh Bake. We're at the Disneyland Hotel, just outside of downtown Disney. Sarah, why she's brought us here? Sarah, why have you brought us here to the uh, downtown Disney Disneyland Hotel? I got something special for Fresh Bake. What's that, Sarah? We are uh, very familiar with treats. Yes, we do love our Disneyland treats. Fresh Bake knows we love our treats. We try to try them all. Fresh Bake loves their treats also. They sure do. Okay. Do you know what else we all love? Alcohol. <laughs> Did I get it right? <laughs> Some of us more than others. <laughs> Woo! Some of us more than others! What? Okay, so am, okay, I, to, am so, I to understand? Okay, so look, there's there's plenty of treats like salty, savory, sweet, right? Yep. 
But sometimes maybe like me and you know, Liz might get a little bit like, David, we need some pizzazz in our day. And I want a treat, but a treat that's really gonna make my day. I, I do like pizzazz. And you know, you might go, well, what do you ladies want? We want a treat with alcohol. So, wait, we can get here a treat with alcohol? Well, I'm gonna show you one of the places that we can get a treat with alcohol. And this is actually, I'm showing you this one first because this is a Disneyland classic. I can't wait. Show me the way. We are on Disneyland Hotel proper. We have walked over past the Fantasy Tower. It's the Goofy Kitchen. And um, we are also next to Goofy's Kitchen. Okay. So the coffee house. The coffee house. It's small, it's hidden. It's the grab and go. It's the grab and go. And you may be asking me, Sarah, I don't want, I don't want a coffee. Sarah, I don't want a coffee. Well, you know what, David? Oh. We're not going to get coffee. No? No. The aforementioned secret treat? We're going to get the secret treat coffee. She already knows why we're here. She knows. Mm -hmm. Usually the evening are the later. Yep. The evening, the evening. Are you are you telling me we're getting a Dole Whip with rum in it? Oh, fresh baked. We're getting a Dole Whip with rum in oh, it. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't wait. How many are we getting? Yeah, they're very pretty also. Oh, right. I, well, how do I do this? Do I eat the ice cream or do I just go for the drink? Wait, is there a uh, Slurpee Slurp? What? A sandy straw. Oh. There might have been one. Oh, yeah. I feel like you guys need a straw. You know what? I'll be fine. Okay. I don't want to kill any turtles today. Let's go ice cream first. Yeah, let's go with. Yep. But is it rummy? Just like we're at the Tiki Room. Do you guys feel like Jack Sparrow yet? Not yet, but I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm about to. <laughs> what, is it on the bottom or the top? Like... Yeah, where is it? You know, I gotta mix it up. Yeah, I'm gonna like... You find are, it yet? There are two kinds. She said there's a coconut version. And a... Coconut rum and a dark rum. Coconut rum and dark rum. I, I don't know coconut. my alcohol, so I prefer... I, I, I told her to give you both coconut, because you guys are kind of... I can vaguely taste the coconut, but I can't taste the rum. Yeah, you're kind of, you know... I don't know if you could handle it. Nope, it's just coconut. <laughs> that's Am the... I gonna get secretly messed up? Yep, that's the secret. It did say splash. It, yeah, that's the secret. It did say splash, not. That's why I order. Not uh, a full shot. I order Malibu and pineapple all the time. Mm -hmm. Hey, worst case scenario. You just got a dole whip float. float. <laughs> <laughs> and how I, well, how much was that? I forgot what the price was. It wasn't much more, Ten right? Bucks. Oh, it was. Oh, yeah, okay. it is more. It is okay, more. it is more. By the way, you have to get her. We have to get her early. They're only open till six. Okay, fresh baked. I mean, you guys look like you're speeding through these things, so I have to imagine. Because it's a dough whip and they're delicious. Right, I'm like, I have to imagine it's tasty regardless. Are you tasting like Jack? I, I taste coconut. Man, you really just got a splash. Yeah, I know 100% they're like, hey, if we just add literally a, a splash, we can charge more. Okay, now remember this conversation in about 10 minutes when you guys can't walk straight and I'm filming. Sure. Come on, I'm not that way. <laughs> I, I, can, I can always put down a pint of cider. I think a splash of rum. Yes, David. Why is all the rum gone? Why is all the rum gone? <laughs> Keep her away from the rum. I feel like I feel like Thor right now. I want to throw this down. And I know. <laughs> I know. Next treat is in DCA. DCA. Now I just found out about this one myself. And I like, think this is new. I'm super excited about this. So back there in the coffee house. And we'd say like months that that's been around. Oh yeah, it's been forever. Yeah. Easily months. I, mean, I don't know I if it's a- this one's been around a while too. I don't know if it's a full year, but- uh, It's been there forever. They're it's, both new to me. It's, right, but- uh, just never come over These yet. treats at Clarabelle's, right? Well, you know what? Let's let the, let's let the camera do the talking. Let, let's, 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 let's just show them. Let's we'll show them. I told you. Good morning, Clarabelle's, let's all right, go. All right, all right, all right. I can't wait. We're here, let's go. I just saw a sign that said beer floats. Is that what we're getting? Is that I what? mean, we might be getting a beer float. A beer float? A beer float. All right, what do they got? Okay, they got Henry's Hard Soda. Oh, Delicious. Oh, yeah, that sounds they good. They got Coney Island Hard Root Beer. I'm I sure love it. It's like a root beer float, right. but it's hard root beer. Or Guinness Extra Stout. No, that's actual beer. That's actual beer. Ice cream and a beer. Ice cream and a beer? I don't know, man. This is DCA. That's and that's a dark, that's like heavy Guinness. That's heavy. Type. Guinness is not light. It's your choice, man. 
Oh, well, I'm already in on the on the hard whatever. Yeah. The hard soda. Yeah, the, the orange one. Damn. Yeah. yeah. They literally just stick. Uh, it's, already a, it's a full bottle of of the hard soda. They just threw the that whole ice bottle cream at you. And, and they just hard. dunk it in there. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Mm. Yeah, the bubbly was tasty. I'll tell you what. I love hard soda. Yep. I love orange floats. Yep. This is my jam right here. <laughs> I don't know what they're gonna say together. I was like, oh no! Oh, okay, all right. We're good. We're good. On the one hand, I'm kind of regretting that I can't put it together. Like, you, yeah, you can. You can mix it if you really wanted to. I have to wait a minute. But this is a great way to. No wonder that line was so long. It's a great way to get your frozen treat on while also getting a slight buzz. I agree. That looks heavenly. Like summertime. Feeling fine. That's fantastic. Feeling fine. Chug, 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 chug. Dang, you're like a frat boy right now. Welcome to Sigma Zappa Kappa. Beta Disney Phi. I want to be an OK. Oh, yeah! Beta Welcome to OK! okay. Yeah! This is what OK is with drink. Yeah! Ice cream and hard soda. That's, I think that's a <laughs> fact right there. OK, let's get to our last treat, Sarah. Uh, take us to what? We're going to the back lot, right? We are going to the back lot, my friend. All right, well, I'm going to finish this on the way. Yeah, you finish it. Let's go to the back lot. I got one more little treat to show you guys. I don't know if this would be considered the same kind of a treat as our other two. It's a savory treat. Savory. Not a sweet treat, Not but a savory sweet. treat. Definitely a trendy oh, yeah. treat. So if you are an Instagrammer, a Twitterer, a Facebooker, a... Snapchatter? Snapchatter, Tumblr. <laughs> Come to the back lot, get a michelada. A, a michelada? A michelada. Did I say it wrong? You could say a michelada. <laughs> Let's right see here? what it is. At the, at the ice cold refreshment at. stand? I'll, I'll just show you guys. Alright, let's do it. Show me the way. Michelada. Is that a Michelada? Michi Michi do. I love you. Look at that I thing. got some work to do you know, now. They're, they're really beautiful. Got a Michi do. So what's in How this? about you? Explain yes. a Michelada to me. Cerveza. Okay. What, what, what kind? Do we know? Um, It's probably Modelo. Because, Modelo? Yeah. Uh, it's the Modelo special. Oh, right, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's Modelo. And a bunch of spicy stuff. What's the stuff, what's the, that, that, that sort of like sugary sort of... So I believe that this is actual chamoy because that's like a substance. Go, go more. It's like a sweet, uh, spicy. Yeah? It's a sweet and spicy kind of like, it's... It's candied almost. Mm-hmm. If it's, it's like sticky. It tastes like a spicy sugary thing. That's what it tastes like. That's, that is something. A spicy sugary thing. And it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Now, Sarah, you introduced me to a Michelada at the last Food and Wine Festival. Yes, I did. And I have uh, been trying to find them everywhere I go now since then. I think You're welcome. Yeah, they're pretty great. Uh, matter of fact, fantastic. I'm going to try this right now, if you don't mind. Oh my god, that is good. Isn't that so yummy? I'll tell you what, even better. Oh my god. I know! It just gets better as your oh. taste buds hit more. It's the lime. It's everything. Yeah, it's the the chamoy. It's con todo. And the, and the tahini. Con todo. Everything makes it good. I have, I've tried them in other places out in restaurants and stuff. Uh -huh. This is the best one. Yeah, Disney that, does, that I've that I've tried. Disney does not screw it up. No, this that is. I mean, it's got the most kick, the most flavor. Some of the ones they overdo it on the uh, yes. that, that stuff on the rim there. Well, see, like so they have this. There's a difference between tahini and chamoy, and uh -huh. the chamoy is the more like. Substance, like yeah. it'll stick to this cup versus the tahini is just like a sprinkle. Right, right. Um, and you can totally kill it if you don't have the proper. Right. Amount. So don't ruin it. Just okay. What, well, 10 bucks, I think? Yes. Same price as the uh, Dole Whip with a splash of rum. That so will much get better. you. I've already walked off whatever remnants of a buzz I might have had from. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't get it. You didn't even get but yeah. This, this get will, this might buzz, this will give you a buzz, I think. <laughs> She's gonna go for it. Did we do it? I'm pretty treated out. Man, those were good. Those were sweet. I liked it all. Dole Whip with rum. With a splash of rum. Splash of rum. <laughs> Dude, we got a bar of ice cream and a glass of orange, 
Hard soda. Michelada. Perfect on a summer day. Perfect. Uh, now, by the way, we noticed um, after we were by, there's a bonus, a bonus treat. That there is a bonus treat. Yeah. So we saw also at Claribel, you could get a Michelada, like the one that we showed you, but they also a throw a scoop. At Claribel, a scoop of sherbet? Yeah, it said like tomato lime sherbet. I'm not what the, sure. What? Put it in a picture. There's a lime in there too. I think it would be good. I would try it. Yeah? I wouldn't be afraid. So put that on, that's a fourth item that we didn't get to try because frankly, we can't have any more alcoholic treats I mean, we today. have to get ourselves home. Right. So fresh break, of those, what, I, 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 don't, I don't want to say alcoholic treats, but uh, treats with personality. <laughs> treats. <laughs> with a little bit of kick. With a kick. <laughs> Uh, which one do you think you would prefer? That's what I want to know. Which what do you let us know in the comments below which of those treats which you think you'd like to try yummy. first. Are you a Michelada guy or have you had already your fill of Micheladas? You would try something different. Or have you had all of those yeah. and we had no idea and we're late and you got something new for us? Well, we're late to some people, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, let us know in the comments below, guys, and thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Fresh, Fresh baking bake. stuff. Go get those Instagram photos, girls. Well, Fresh Bake, we've arrived at the Tiki Room this afternoon. Because uh, we got some stuff to talk about. We know that, uh, you know, we've got these construction walls up here, and we kind of have an idea what's going to happen there, which we'll get to in a minute, uh, plus how it connects with Tropical Hideaway. So what I think I want to do right now is take you guys into the, the Lanai Garden, get ready to see a show, and have a little chat about this, and namely that. Right there is a piece of concept art that we kind of just glossed over last week. Ian and I walked by that, took a picture of it, and thought, ah, whatever that is, because it's not the Tiki Room, it's not our Tiki Room, and it's not Walt Disney World's Tiki Room. Uh, it's, what is that? Well, it's a piece of concept art that has never been seen before until they put up those walls, and I want to talk about that for a minute. In the Tiki 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 Room, in the Tiki 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 Room, in the Tiki 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 Room. I said tiki so many times just now. Yeah. Look, you got Tangaroa Roo and Kin. Is that a Kina? Kuluuta? Pele, etc. This is lovely. Pele, goddess of fire and volcano. volcano. What's that? I don't think that god's name's etc. Sorry. Pele, etc. No, I don't think that's the god's Look, name. It's Nikindi, the earth bouncer. Yeah, no etc. No. Uh, so the expectation is, as we've discussed, I and mean, we don't know this for sure, but permits suggest, permits that, that we've seen filed previously suggested that they're building or they're modifying the bathroom here. The, yeah. A lot of people, you know, it's like kind of a, like a known secret that there's a bathroom here yeah. in the Tiki Room. I mean. It's one of my favorite bathrooms. Right, and a lot of people, you have to be kind of a. Are they open? No, they're behind those walls right there. I know, right? Regular adventure. Uh, I've only used them once in my life, by the way. I know, right? <laughs> Just once. I, Just because I wanted to know what it looked like I in there. I <laughs> pure amusement when we're all waiting and I tell you guys, like, I'll be right back. Yeah. Because I like to watch people watch me. Because yeah, where's she going? Like, what is she doing? Also, people are thinking, they, you know, people don't go up the stairs until the doors are right. open. Which, for the most part, you want to see the show stuff, so that's fine. Yeah. It's, it's almost like people expect you're not supposed to go up yeah, the stairs. That yeah, they think that Oh, right, like you're trying to jump like, the show. No, yeah. yeah, there's a yeah. room. Yeah. Yeah. You go up to yeah. the yeah. I get all kinds of reactions. It's so yeah. funny. Well, there is a restroom there, but it's it's a single. But the idea is that we're, 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 we believe they're going to make that a companion restroom. To, to accommodate for the one they removed. Over exactly, about next about door. The, there used to be one at Aladdin's Oasis, uh, but no more because of Tropical Hideaway. Uh, and then part of that also, now there's no walls here yet, but uh, we, and like I said, we discussed this a little bit in the construction videos, but right here, this is a, uh, an elevator that for disabled guests who are like in wheelchairs, you just go up, you go up like two feet. Uh, and then that's two feet they have to get up. Right, no, I know, I'm just saying, and then they take the exit ramp, the, the Tiki Room exit ramp around there, and go into the back door for, for people, you know, for disabled guests. Now, that's going to go away because they're building a ramp at the exit of Tropical Hideaway yeah. that is going to be for both. That'll for the exit. Accommodate everybody, basically. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll be the exit and the entrance for mm -hmm. disabled guests. Now, when we, so all that is pretty much like normal stuff. We're not too scary. I'm a little worried about what's going to happen to Coro uh, and Maui. For, yeah, for Maui and them. Um, Coro. Coro, yeah. Uh, I but I mean, I'm sure they're going to be fine. <laughs> but one of the things we, we saw out there was that concept art. And I, I 
looked it up last week after I saw that, and I could not find that concept art anywhere. That concept art did not exist on the internet until it, they put it up on that wall. Yep. The, only th the only time I saw anybody talking about that concept art was them asking, have you ever seen this concept art and before? We never got like an artist, right? Well, it looks like John Hench's work to me. But we never got a comment. You can't see his, there's no signature, signature but that looks right? kind of like his work. So my question is, is that a possible subtle hint? Let me, let me back that up. I didn't up. say anything. Let me back that up. When, when Ian and I saw this last week, and I, I almost did a video on this, but then I decided not to, but when Ian and I, were, uh, at the end of our show last week, Ian and I went our separate ways, and no sooner had Ian and I split, had a cast member come up on my six and said, that concept art is part of a five-year refurb where they're, get, they're gonna do it in stages, and it's gonna be you know a new, a new tiki room, basically, uh, to look like the concept art. And if you'll notice, that concept art looks like it's a restaurant, there's glass, uh, there's glass seating on out here where this where this exit ramp is right here. There's actually uh, indoor seating. There's a there, there's a glass wall put up. Now, <clears throat> it made me think why have I why we've never seen this concept art before? Can you guess? I mean, but it's always been concept art we've seen. We I know. I just they dig through the archives, find some stuff, and sometimes the stuff we haven't seen, like this case. I don't think it's only that art in itself. I don't think so either. I mean, they said, hey, let's we'll find some I just thought it curious. to put on there. They yeah. said, and they said, no way, but if you haven't seen it, so put it, that'd be interesting. Yeah. I don't. I, don't, I try just, not to read too much into stuff like that. Like, I mean, that's, I agree. That's very tr again, that's trying to look at two leaves on the ground and say, oh no! But that's what we do. It's a that's conversation piece. <laughs> okay. Do. I don't like to do uh, let, me, let me put it to you this way, because like, like you said, I don't believe it is. I think it's, I think it's archived concept art that yeah. they so decided like, to hey, pull out. Before, because, so cool to put up. yeah, Tiki Room was supposed to be designed as a restaurant. It was supposed to be indoor seating restaurant, dinner and a show. And those, uh, all those notes to me seem restaurant -y. They, Well, and yeah, and also vintage e because they don't draw concept art like that anymore. Right, but I mean, I right, like I don't see... Oh, that's right, yeah, you were reading some of the little... I read all the, uh, those notes. Yeah. I don't see an attraction needing those same... There was just stuff that they needed, Right. and I don't see the attraction needing it. It seemed like a yeah. restaurant or a lounge, something like that. But let's play a game then. Let's let's imagine for a second that that is concept art. Okay, that's what we're getting. Do you want that? Yes. Do you want a? Well, if that's my option, like you're, you're taking this no matter what. Well, that? regular tiki room or that tiki room out there. See, I don't think that's fair. Why? One, that's in my restaurant. This is in the. You're getting both. You're still getting the tiki room, but then you're also getting a restaurant. Absolutely. Then you're down. What about you, Ian? If the show if we're not changing, maybe, sure. Yeah? But I think the show is kind of perfect as it is. Here's what I'm thinking. Like, There's no restaurant. There's no real restaurant in Adventureland. No. You got the Bengal barbecue, but that's... No, well, they're about to have whatever options are going to be in trouble. Either way. Also not a restaurant. Not every land needs a horse Well, I'm just saying that... I, look, I'm not saying that why it should be. I'm just playing devil's advocate. And I'm, I'm trying to catch this to me, so... How, how would there not be enough space here to put restaurants? True adventure. Uh, so space, unless you're taking up the show. Well, no. Can we go my way? What's that? Build up. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think they're going to make it bigger. Up, because that's. If you look at that, remember we were we were looking. There's there's four feet of posts and a river running underneath it. And it specifies that it's up. 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 I think that you could, you could possibly create a bigger footprint for this attraction in the available space, i.e. What, some of what we're seeing out here, perhaps. I don't know. But you need this for waiting space. True. Anyway, like I said, I'm not. I'm just. We're blue skying this. I and I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing. You're gray skying this. <laughs> Erase the blue sky. <laughs> I'm being though. Just if I said, okay, well then, how do you make that work? That's like one of the limitations that prevents you from doing that. And I'm saying, never mind that. Don't need a reason. Would you want what we saw out there, if they could do it? If you don't touch my tiki room. It, assuming you get the tiki room, yes. Right. Don't touch my tiki room. And you get this, you also. The garden and the show were not to change. Right. Or be gone in some way. I guess so. I don't see why not have an initial restaurant. Well, because, uh, the, I the reason I ask is this is OG. This is, I mean, well, not, not, not quite OG, day, but pretty not opening day, but it's pretty OG, yeah. Walt Disney's enjoyed the tiki room. Right. This is Walt Disney's, yeah. However, 
this is the one time when you can say this is what Walt wanted if they do that, because Walt did want it to be a dinner show. That was the original intention. But it it wouldn't be eating while you're watching. Yeah. What? Yeah. No, but see, the, now that's intruding on the show. That's intruding on the show. How do you how do you fit in the noise of a restaurant? The the noise well, of the these restaurant. aren't performers; they're animatronics. I mean. Matter, I can't hear your chewing out. Yeah, the, the noise of the restaurant now intrudes on the actual on glass. Yeah. Clank, clank, clank. So that's so that's right. It's not a thing where people can just come and watch the yeah, show. Yeah, get normally. that out of here. Not to mention, that. do you guess get to watch it multiple times? See, if, you're, so you're just seeing Rainforest Cafe. Basically, yeah. No, I thought that. Well, you were on gonna, steroids no, a little bit. I thought you were going to let me go see the show. I thought you were going to see this. Finish watching the show and no, then no. exit. No, no. The show happens around you while you're eating. No, that's the stupidest idea I've ever seen. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but I would the not have stupidest idea. Well, we all know wow. I'm a drama queen, so I just got to take it there. It's the stupidest <laughs> idea I've ever seen. All right, all right. So you, so you want to see the show and then have. Well, you want to keep them separate because then. If you're not can't. Touching, that, that can't be done, I don't if think. If you're not touching the tiki room, then you're not touching the tiki room. Because in order to do it your way, then you have to limit how long people stay in there to eat. You have to kick them out, basically. And I, I, okay, I guess that's... Which begs my question, but if you do you just asking, sit here through multiple shows? No, if you were asking me, you just need to make the seating much larger than the actual room. Because you could fit 40 people in the tiki room, but you could fit 80 people in your... There's not enough room to split that, though, I don't think. If you build not up! A... <laughs> that far up? Right! It's like eight stories. <laughs> Are they starting the show? Well, they, I mean, they, they skipped Maui and Quora. Oh, that's right, huh? They're back there right They're now. back there behind the wall. You got Maui. Hey, hey! <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, they had to skip them. Rongo. Oh, no, no kidding. Yeah. yeah. Skipped them. Foundation! Oh, your hair? Oh, look! Remember that one time? I can't flip over. Legends the say I'm balancing the earth, but sad to say, I'm just hanging on. I'm the one who's really sad. Well, when I smile, it comes down. Well, there's fire, bad. but it's already down. So, well, there it goes. Identical, right? Yeah. Which so, one's which? I can't. No one can tell the difference. No, I know. No. I know. Uh, hey, Pele, how are you? Hey, oh my God, I'm so good. Yeah, how are I you guys? I was checking your show out. Yeah, I was just ago. talking to Taka. We just had lunch right now. Oh really? Now. Yeah, we were That's sharing cool. mimosas. <laughs> That's cool. Have you seen Sarah? I was just looking for her. No, I don't know. All right. Good luck, though. Thank you. Thank you, Pele. Big fan. And of enchantment, I appear before you as a mighty tree. Stand back. Oh, the misty powers, hear my call. From my limbs, let new life fall. <laughs> World of joyous song and wondrous miracles. Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. I feel like we're doing this wrong because we don't have a dull whip right now. So we're getting plans for other kinds of dolls no, after true. the show. It's true. I wonder if we're going to get Larry today. Larry's a great host. Enchanted Tiki Room, brought to you by our good pals at Dole. I'm your Tiki host, Luau Larry. 
Before we begin our show, a few reminders. Our actors are very temperamental and easily distracted. So we please ask there be no flash photography, smoking, or video lighting in the tiki room. And for the comfort of those around you, we ask that you silence all electronic devices. Now please remember our simple rules, Ohana, for you're all sitting underneath birds. <laughs> the good news is that if you brought any refreshments with you, please continue to enjoy them. Speaking of exits, should you need to leave us during our performance, head over towards that open door, which is now magically closing. Pocus, pocus, fish bones choke us. Give that door a push, and as we say here at the Tiki Room, you'll be as free as a bird. Now at the end of our show, that is the only door that opens, and it will be your one and only exit from our theater. So without any further ado, I present to you the timeless magic of Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. this way for tropical holiday we can't see it right now uh, which would, would eliminate the need for the disabled guest access which is coming down this this you know walkway right here the interesting thing that is sort of making me think that there is a potential remodel based on what we're seeing on that concept art is that in both that concept art that appears to be an archive piece and the new concept art for tropical hideaway this area right here that we're on does look to be set up for, for guest for, for seating. We're going to be able to sit up here as opposed to just using it as an exit. The concept art, the new concept art for Tropical Hideaway has people sitting out here also. Yes, yeah. Uh, because this is no longer going to be the, an exit. You said you'll exit really right. down towards Trouble. How do you feel about that? Do you feel like there's enough room for that here? Or what? what? I mean, it'd be just like a couple of tables all here. With the, like, they'd be small tables with some chairs. You don't think they're going to have to do an entire remodel, just like the concept art out there in the front, in order to get these five people to sit up here? For that? <laughs> Can we just extend? I, I, I know what you're doing. <laughs> Can we just extend? Well, okay, but then you lose this cool river that flows underneath this this former river. This should be a river right here, actually. No, they probably need to try it because they're doing the work. That's true. Yeah, You're right. Uh, but this is that river that we see in that concept art that looks really gorgeous in that you know with the with the five foot post and maybe those are if we're down on the ground without this all this in the way. This is actually raised up. It's just not. It is raised, yeah. Right. So, I mean, it's right. Like how. Maybe that is just the regular concept art. Maybe that is just what it is. Well, it looks right? better in the art. It sure does. That's, that's the, the nature of concept testament art. to John Hench, also. 
Uh, but there you go, guys. Uh, I, what, like I said, this will be seating area right here. Maybe they extend it out a little bit here, uh, but we won't exit. When we come out that door, it won't turn right. It'll go straight and then turn right on the other side of that fence. Right. Because you'll ramp down into trouble. Oh, right. You're going to turn left yeah. and come back around. Yeah. yeah. You kind of do a little U-turn a bit, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so there you go. So uh, did that show, after seeing that, you, you'd rather just keep that show and not have dinner? while you're, Maybe some fish? Maybe a little... I don't want dinner in there. But you, you sure? They need a separate area for me to eat. No, you don't I mean, want a little you know, tilapia. It's distracting from anyone who's just coming in to watch a show. Don't okay. you dare All right. eat your loud meal next While week. Jose and company are performing. Mon ami, quit talking while I'm interrupting. Lunchtime, Fresh Bake. On our way to Hungry Bear. We just placed our mobile order. So it won't be ready when we get there quite, but nearly. I feel like this path has now made me never want to sit on the bottom level again. Really? Even though that was fun to do because of the ducks before. But now I don't want to sit there because it's just people walking by. It's true. But then again, when you're at Cafe Orleans and people are walking by, you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. It's a different vibe. It is a different vibe. He got what we're getting. Shade? No, watermelon. Oh. Slushy thing. Ba -ba -dum, ba -ba -da -ba. Not very busy up here today. Wow, I'm impressed. There we go, mobile order pickup. And those are, hey look, we walked right into our two watermelon slushies right there. Very Thank well, you so very much. Well played, yes, very well played. Very well plated. Very even. I know, right? That's the first thing I know. Nothing's noticed. gonna topple over. It looks lovely on the plate. It looks beautiful. We already found you a table in the shade. And Ian and I performed the first three opening acts of Hamilton. <laughs> Now. Right. He's stuck with us. Look it. It wasn't so bad when it was just one of us. Uh, let's see how many muffins we get here. Are there any muffins on the? We have to do the Mark Twain still today, guys. There we go. Now we got a wave. There we go. Some rose gold ears. There we go. Happy mama. Uh -huh. Happy They're muffins. <laughs> They're muffins for sure. I got a rock on. Yeah. But did you see any iridescent ears? No, no iridescent ears. Sarah. Yep, see, I called it. <laughs> called it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw them on the escalator. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm at the Monty Escalator. Oh, at the parking structure? That's so cute. I don't know what she has with mine, but she was pointing something up. Is it? Mm -hmm. oh. What, a Lady Romeo? Yeah. She's wearing Lady Romeo? Like, oh, She's wearing Lady Romeo? She's wearing Lady She's wearing Lady Romeo? She's wearing the little, like, glass ball ones. <laughs> Call your mom, tell you you made it. Somebody's wearing your stuff. I've done it! I've made it! <laughs> my names are in my names in the lights. I see it yeah, right now. Good. I'm on the radio, Mom. I'm on the radio! Hi Mom! <laughs> I'm on the cover of a magazine! <laughs> I can't believe it! Just ahead is the most treacherous part of our journey. That island off the starboard side often hides the scourge of the sea. Hey, cousin Wing. Bloodthirsty pirates. They sometimes lie in wait to attack a passing ship such as ours and steal its bounty. 
I don't know. Oh, oh. I don't bitch. <laughs> I almost got him. I almost got him. Prepare to fire a warning shot. Oh no, prepare. Any curious pirates hiding near the shore will know we are well armed. Those of you around the cannon best be stepping back. Way back. For the cannon should be a might loud. And the gunner's aim be a might cool. Big ready to fire one. Did you make ready? It's happening again, Ian. It seems like they feel they need to get clear past a certain point. Before they get there. That's true. The uh, the speech is manually triggered. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. He, he may have started it a little early. That would always be my biggest fear if I have to be the one to trigger the recordings. I feel like I would ruin it. Like always. Like do it too early or too like late. I would always like crap. <laughs> sorry. I was checking my Facebook status. Right. <laughs> and they say, I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> I don't think I'd last very long in one of those positions. Well, whoever our uh oh, oh there it goes. Oh! Oh they killed that bird, you said? Wow, that was terrible. Or that duck? I think it was just the timing. No no. It did look like they shot the duck. That no, duck. They totally shot that duck. They shot that duck, man. That's tonight's special. Yep. I mean the duck on the Coming soon to uh, Hungry Bear, Duck Lorange. Duck a la yeah. Yeah. A la Lumiere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or a la Christmas story and they just chopped the head off. <laughs> it's smiling at me. It's smiling at me. I have no idea where we are in the show right now, like regular show. Because we're trying to mix all kinds of things together today, but <laughs> we're filming things out of order. You know, because like movies film things out of order for production reasons, right? <laughs> right. It's That's so, what we're trying to It's like filming it. a movie. But I heard a ruckus down here at the uh, Mission Breakout Tower of Awesome Guardians dance off. We're gonna check it out and see what's going on. So all we gotta do is make a lot of heat, right? That's just gonna help the sensors, and then. We can easily sneak away. I've got a plan. You're going to be so proud. This is anything like your other plan. For the sake of the galaxy, we need all of you to dance. Woo dance. <laughs> Yes, you all totally rock. 
Mixed up. It's, I'm here this way anyway, so I mean, you know, it's Saturday. It's still Saturday. I'm so lost. Rush Bay, we tried to do something this week that has never been tried before on this show anyway. We've tried to mix in regular trip report stuff with three more produced sort of videos. Yeah, produced, kind of scripted, semi scripted. But that means we're trying to film things while we're at spots as opposed to in the order they are <laughs> we, going to appear. Hey, how are we doing? Thank you. Which uh, means that we have to remember what video we're actually filming, I think what did, part of the video, and what day the actual did, show is. I on. think the last thing we did was the dance off? Yeah. What was before that? Lunch? Oh my yeah. god, Hungry Bear? Or Tiki. Tiki Room, that's right. Hey, that's show. That show. And uh, we just said goodbye to Sarah because we just wrapped those three videos uh we, hopefully you've probably already seen them by now they're ha, brush bake tell us what did you think of our <laughs> what did you think it, of our was it an unmitigated disaster yeah it's either going to be an epic fail or an epic or an epic win the uh the two videos we did on pin trading and the video that we did on some super fun alcoholic treats or treats with personality i like to say uh, that you can find at dca in downtown disney but uh ian and i decided we got a little more business to do because we want to finish the show in a proper way like just like last week, right? We couldn't, I felt light yeah. last week. Turns out we weren't light at all. No, but. <laughs> no one day I saw two videos at one and day. I'm like, wait, is this a mistake to eat? But the upload, but like, I'm too early? Yeah, no. It didn't go away, so I'm like, all right, I guess this is what's supposed to happen. Well, uh, but no, I want to I want to kind of just, I don't like closing in certain ways. I like to close with a, just a, a sort of feeling when we're at Disneyland. So we're going to come in and get a little bit of that feeling like Mike and Sully. You guys look great, thank you. <laughs> uh, Mike and Sully, they, just, they probably just got done with their parade. Uh, so there's that. We're at the end. This is the worst. Oh, God. Well, I know. We should go. We should go.
you've been doing this show? I mean, I just heard that song about five times in a row, so my sense of time's gone now. Okay. So, if you'd asked me before that we caught the parade, I could have told you. It's impossible. Well, what I mean to say is Lifetime, Fresh Baked. Oh. I mean, me, like what, three all, Yeah, about three years, yeah. At, is it, it would be three in September or four in September? Uh, it'll be three in September. Okay. Almost three years, yeah. Uh, Fresh Break has been around since 2013, technically 2012, or theoretically 2012, I should say. And 15 we're, was the year that I showed up. We're about to do something that we've never ever done before. Arizona, hello! Hey, alright! Never ever have we... Ever. ...closed the show walking into two towns. <laughs> Just like, why would you? You're getting I know, right? this part of the park to end We are show. literally as far away from the entrance as possible, but this is where we're ending the show tonight because I'm going to take care of some uh, Galaxy's Edge business in here. But we've wrapped the show. I just thought I just wanted to get that. You know what I mean? Like, you got to clear the palate, right? We've I been to breathe. I tell you that. Yeah, well, that's true. That was intense. What we just went through back there, because uh, we didn't show any of that, right? I, I, I stopped the camera at Town Square, so we didn't show any of that. What were you filming there when we were at the cross? Just the just the parade. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, I, we didn't pick up the fact that we've been following that parade for the last four and a half hours of our life. I think. I mean, it feels that way. Right. It feels that way. <laughs> Plus, we crossed at the very end. Oh my God, that was that was a nightmare. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take care of some Galaxy's Edge business in here, and then we're gonna call it a day, guys. I hope you enjoyed the show this week. Hopefully, everything went well. I'm really nervous. I'm, I'm apprehensive. I'm nervous about it. This week's show. Normally, I, I feel pretty good about things, but like I said, we've been trying something different. We're trying to put up some different kind of. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, well, I'm blind. Now we're I'm blind, blind, deaf, and tired. Those are difficult qualities to enjoy a park in. Thanks for watching Fresh Bake. We'll see you next week. As usual, uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, share these videos with your friends, follow us on Twitter at Fresh Bake Disney, that's Fresh with no E. We're on Facebook at Fresh Bake Disney. There is a child screaming in the back. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, just want to make sure. I mean, it was me, but I didn't want to talk to you. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> Ian is having a hard time with the end of the show today. <laughs> <laughs> We're on Instagram at underscore fresh bake. We're on Snapchat at uh, first baked and stuff. By the way, if you're having a hard time finding first baked and stuff on Snapchat, it's because you have to type the whole thing. It won't autofill the search for you. I learned that the hard way. So if you're on Snapchat or looking for us on Snapchat, type the whole thing and then you will find us. First, no, fresh, I'm sorry, not first, fresh baked and stuff. Fresh baked and stuff. Yeah. First is Twitter. First is Twitter. That's correct. All right, we're uh, we're out of here, guys. We love you. Uh, I I can't wait to show you this stuff and find out how it goes. But either way, good or bad, we're gonna be here next week. You can count on that. You can count on fresh baked. So it'll be a little next week's gonna be a different timing, so you won't. That's right. Next the timing they're recording it. I'll be here on Saturday, but you won't see me because they're. Recording. We're doing two night sessions, Tuesday yeah. and Wednesday night sessions next week because I'm going on a little mini vacation again to LA to go to a haunted uh, hotel in LA so stay tuned for that as well um, all right there you go guys we love you stay tuned for more fresh breakfast stuff bye guys bye